My dad and I went down to the soccer fields today to show off the effects of the mods to the F-15, the trickle rudder setup and the higher thrust line. And here you can see a takeoff up into the vertical rolls. Now that I'm able to fly with the 11.7 propeller, I'm getting six pounds of thrust and it gives me unlimited vertical. Uh, the aircraft overall now is much smoother in, in its flight and much easier not that it wasn't easy to handle before, but it's just really on rails. As you can see in, in some of these uh, flight clips. That's an Immelman turn, or excuse me, a Cuban 8, and I think I go here into a double Immelman with a an half inside and then a half outside loop. Again, the aircraft is really tracking well. Of course, I do have some right rudder mixed in with down Elevon to keep it tracking through the outside loops. Here come, I come across the field with a slow roll and now I have uh, plenty of rudder authority to hold the points of the slow roll. Here I think I'm just doing a slow flyby to show you the slow flight and the fact that the wing rock is essentially gone unless I do a control correction and then I can get it going a little bit. It uh, really is fun to fly at high angles of attack, just like the uh, YF-22 is. It slow flights very well. Uh, the Elevons are really only used for pitch control. I use the triple rudder for uh, directional control at the high OA. There you see a little bit of wing rock come in. And again, that was probably a thrust transient and it me playing with the rudders. And as you can see, all I have to do is, is tap on the throttle and it will just go vertically as high as I want it to go. I think later on I have a series of six vertical rolls that take it at least out of sight for me. Actually, this is them right here. Uh, the camera is still ever to cap capture it, but it was getting sort of out of my sight line. And I just love the whistle it makes as the air flows through the, uh, the ducts as it comes down. This, I believe, is a slide and go. No, it was a landing. And this was the other flight that I had this morning. Here I did some uh, knife edge demonstrations. Again, another takeoff. I love just doing the takeoff into the vertical rolls. Here I'm coming in, I think, just for some... No, this is a slide and go. Again, up into the vertical rolls. Here I'm doing a knife edge to the right. And then I come back and I do knife edge to the left. That should show you that I can hold it now with the rudder. I still don't have the Elevon mixing exactly right because it just doesn't lock in like it should, but I'll continue working on that until I get the mix right. But it's around 60% opposite uh, Ele Elevon to uh, full rudder on the mix. Here I'm pulling up and doing a wing over. The interesting thing is when you do a wing over, the aircraft tries to flatten out, so you have to give a little down elevon to keep the nose pointed down. I still haven't figured out exactly how much to put in there. There you saw the three consecutive rolls and get a sense of the the way it axle rolls now. This is again a, a demonstration of the slow flight. You can just sort of set, stand it on its tail at about 50 to 60 degrees angle of attack. And it's fairly rock solid, uh, unless you do a, a radical throttle transit and or hit the rudders, as I said, to get a little wing rock going. But the wing rock is almost all gone. There's just a standard outside loop. And here I come in for a landing. Anyway, thanks for watching.